Hey everyone, it's Rob with Passport to the Parks and today we are going to do a full Disney Skyliner construction update. Uh, it's a very hot and humid day today in Florida, but we're going to try to get through this whole thing. Uh, it's been raining off and on, um, sun's been shining, cloudy, gray skies, blue skies, so it's going to be definitely a, a full weather day and a lot of stuff going on, but we're going to try to get through this whole uh, update today. We're going to hit uh, Pop Century and the Art of Animation, Disney's Caribbean Beach, uh, over by the Riviera, uh, over by the Boardwalk, um, what else, Epcot, and Hollywood Studios, the full the full gamut here. So uh, let's get going, but first if you would check out uh, PassportToTheParks.com, you can see all my uh, videos and articles and pictures and all kinds of cool stuff, the entire uh, write-up that I'll do for the uh, Skyliner here as well. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed here on YouTube, I really appreciate you doing that and definitely drop a like for me. It always helps to support the channel and what I'm doing here. So let's get going and let's take a look at the Disney Skyliner. Okay, so we are starting here at uh, Disney's Pop Century and Art of Animation. And right now I'm standing on the bridge, uh, which connects both resorts over Hourglass Lake. And here is the construction wall. And behind it is the station that's uh, currently being built for both resorts here. This is sort of one of the beginning points for the Skyliner. Uh, what I'll do is I'll kind of go over a little bit about what the Skyliner is and where it's going to go. This is uh, just an overview of what the station here at Pop Century and Art of Animation is going to look like. It's going to sit right in the center of the bridge. Um, you can see the gondola cars here uh, with some characters on the outside. Now, if you haven't, uh, definitely check out my uh, article over at Passport to the Parks where I have the first look at the Skyliner coming onto Disney property. It's really cool, it's on the back of a truck. Um, so check that out, some, some really cool pictures of the actual gondola itself. Uh, sort of an overview of what it'll look like as it's approaching the station over Hourglass Lake, really cool. And here is the route for the Skyliner. I've done uh, these videos in the past and pointed out uh, the route, but we'll go over it here uh, in case you guys are uh, totally unfamiliar with the Skyliner and what it's going to be doing. So basically, it's a gondola system. It's going to be suspended on wires, uh, cables that will um, sort of get pulleyed over these towers that are positioned all over Disney property now. And they'll go to different uh, various stations at uh, a couple different resorts and uh, two of the Disney theme parks. So we'll get started here. Right now we are at uh, Disney's Art of Animation and Pop Century, so we are starting at this point right here. Uh, the Skyliner would travel north up to Disney's Caribbean Beach, uh, which we will also see here in, uh, in a little bit. Uh, at that point you have two choices. You can either take another gondola system over to Disney's Hollywood Studios, or you can continue up north to Disney's Riviera Resort, which is currently under construction right now. It's being built. Um, and you'll have a, a sort of a, a turning station there where you can unload to get off at uh, the Riviera. And that would take you over and up again to Epcot uh, into International Gateway, which is the back of Epcot. So that's the whole transportation system. It's going to be really impressive with the gondolas going over all kinds of different scenic routes, lakes, streets, entrances, parking lots. You're going to see the gondolas all over the place and we'll We'll take a look at uh, as many of the towers as we can and the different stations. Um, we'll get to all these different resorts and theme parks to take a look for you guys. So let's, uh, let's get behind this wall and we'll see the station here at uh, Art of Animation and Pop Century. So we can get a little glimpse uh, as we come around the, the wall here, just through the trees. Uh, they basically just have a foundation up right now. Um, doesn't look like they've started on the station itself. So let's uh, get around these trees and get a better look and see if we can see any structure. All right, guys, so we're through the uh, clearing in the trees here. It's about the best view we're going to get. Um, again, they are just working on the foundation. It doesn't look like they have any uh, steel beams up or any of the structure itself. So they're working hard. Uh, obviously, they have to make sure this is secure in the water and make sure the foundation is, is set. So I know that uh, there's definitely some stations um, at the a couple of the, the parks and the other resorts as well. So we will definitely see some station progress, but this one does not look like it uh, has much as far as vertical progress. Uh, must be a lot of uh, foundation issues here, so they've been working for quite a while on this. 
Sorry, there is a little construction noise behind me as well. They're, they have this fenced off here. They're doing some sort of uh, work behind me here, behind this fence. Nothing related to the Skyliner, just hotel itself. Little different angle here. You can see this is where uh, the gondolas are gonna leave the station. Uh, you're gonna travel up and over Hourglass Lake, which is gonna be just a, a beautiful view. Uh, I'm assuming that there will be more of the uh, towers in the lake here. It's probably what those uh, pillars are for. Uh, you'll travel over the lake and down through uh, the woods there, and that's going to take you to Disney's Caribbean Beach. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, that's Art of Animation and Pop Century. It's a good place to start here. Uh, there's not a whole lot of progress on the station, obviously, but they do have uh, towers in place through the resort. Uh, that's going to head down to the Caribbean Beach. Now I will tell you that I cheated a little bit. Um, the Caribbean Beach footage was uh, from a couple days ago, but everything else is genuine for today um, when we hit uh, Hollywood Studios and the Boardwalk and uh, Epcot as well. So uh, again, it's a really humid day today, so pardon me if I'm sweating a little bit, but it's Florida, it's just something we're going to have to deal with. So let's head to the Boardwalk, or no, not the Boardwalk, let's head to Caribbean Beach, but that was just a few days ago. But hey, we'll, editing, that's what editing is for, right? Let's go, guys. So I am completely amazed at how far and how much progress they've made on this uh, Caribbean Beach station and the whole Skyliner system in general. When I first started filming these updates, uh, there was really just one tower that I found, and now most of the towers are pretty much all up, and these uh, stations are just coming along uh, drastically so I think it's gonna be incredible I love coming down here to see this and I hope you guys are enjoying this as well too so starting down here you'd have the art of animation and uh, Disney's pop century and that would follow these uh, towers all the way up to the Caribbean Beach station and this is also going to be one of your main transfer hubs to get over to the Riviera and over to uh, Hollywood Studios so you can see right in the center here is where you would have your, your transfer that would go in the opposite direction to go across to Hollywood Studios. So right now, uh, you're coming in this direction, coming from uh, Pop Century and Art of Animation into the station right here. And you can continue along the track and out into the Caribbean Beach through Jamaica and Aruba over to the Riviera Resort. Or you can transfer over to the opposite direction and head across the trees over to Disney's Hollywood Studios. Get you guys a better look at the uh, transfer hub to Hollywood Studios there. It's gonna be amazing. I think they're gonna really do a lot of work on these uh, stations to make sure that they are incorporated into each resort um, as far as aesthetically. So that's what's gonna take so long is uh, the building of these stations. Like I said, the towers pretty much are done. So it's these uh, these stations that's gonna delay the timeline. So again, like I said, you'll be coming uh, down the, the uh, Skyliner path here into the Caribbean station. Uh, you'll cross over, and it's kind of hard to see behind the trees from this angle, but the towers go through Jamaica and Aruba and over to the station over at the Riviera, which we'll see here momentarily. Got a great view of the Disney Riviera uh, resort being constructed here from the uh, bridge here at Caribbean Beach. It's gonna be beautiful once it's done. You can see uh, one of the Skyliner Towers uh, over top of Jamaica here. That uh, The base of that is actually in the parking lot of Jamaica. Have another uh, tower here in Jamaica. That's a little more predominant right in the center of Jamaica. Pretty cool shot between the palm trees here though. Couldn't resist that. Okay guys, here we are uh, right in the center of Jamaica. And here is one of the most predominant towers at the Caribbean Beach. You can see the base of it is sitting right here in the center of Jamaica. Uh, whether or not they're gonna do some landscaping, uh, some other things around it, I would hope so. Uh, there is no fence, um, but you have the tower that goes straight up. And eventually you're gonna have the gondolas that'll be uh, just gliding right overhead. Uh, this is also in relation to the bridge that heads over to Centertown. Just to give you an idea of where we're at here. I'm hoping that, you know, they may paint these towers. Doesn't look like they will, but it would be kind of nice to 
maybe incorporate a little bit of color, especially being here at the Caribbean beach. Could definitely use a little more whimsical color on these towers. We'll keep our fingers crossed for that. All right, here is uh, one of the towers that's in Aruba. You can see this one still has the fencing around it, so they are still doing some work on this one. Uh, it does have a, a walkway that goes around it, so you can get to all uh, the, four, the far corners of Aruba. You can see in the distance there as well, another tower, uh, the Riviera Resort, and you have just in the distance there, the Riviera Skyliner Station. Okay guys, here is the uh, Riviera Station under construction. Definitely uh, starting to take some shape. This was the uh, last station that they started to construct. Um, so I'm glad to see some progress being made here. You can also see the other tower here between Aruba and the uh, Riviera. Again, everything is uh, behind the green fence for construction. All right, so this is across the lake. Uh, that is Aruba over there in the distance. And you see the station uh, being constructed next to the Riviera, a little better shot of it. All in all, it's definitely coming along. Uh, give you an idea, we'll circle around here. This is the main pool area at the Caribbean beach. And this is center town that's under construction. Okay, so now I'm in the parking lot over at uh, Disney's Boardwalk, and we're going to take a look at where the towers are going to go uh, through here. They're coming from over at the uh, Riviera Resort. Uh, they'll head down the road a little bit and kind of make a turn here at a, at a little turnstile station that they're building and head towards uh, International Gateway at Epcot. But they do cut through the parking lot here, so let's take a look. So you can see down in the distance here where the towers come down, uh, down the street and they come to this little intersection right here that they're building and it's basically just kind of a turnstile where the gondola will, will make a, a right hand turn or a left hand turn depending on which direction you're going and head uh, down the towers through the parking lot here that lead to the back entrance of Epcot which is at the International Gateway. See a little different angle here this is where the, the turnstile will be down the tower, uh, all the way down the parking lot here. You can see the different towers lined up. And again, those are gonna lead all the way to the back entrance of Epcot. You can kind of see uh, the proximity here to the actual entrance of the boardwalk. There's the, the guard shack entrance, and then there's one of the towers. So the gondolas are gonna be going right overhead as soon as you enter the parking lot here at the boardwalk. A Little better shot uh, heading down towards Epcot as well. All right, so now we're gonna jump on the boat and head over to Epcot. And once we take a look at everything at International Gateway, we'll jump back on another boat and we'll head over to Hollywood Studios. So we'll get it all done in one crack here. where the uh, gondolas will be entering towards the uh, International Gateway. Be coming in from that, uh, that boardwalk parking lot turn. 
and coming here right behind France, right over top of the boat dock. And we'll see right behind here, they would enter into the station that's being built. So I'm very curious to know once the uh, station is built here for International Gateway, if they'll do any expansion on the actual gate uh, ticket access behind us here, because there's really, it's a very small entrance and you're gonna get a lot more people back here. So hopefully they might add another gate, uh, ticket gate so more people can get through. But we'll see as that time comes. It's gonna be really impressive to see these gondolas. They're gonna be pretty low here as they're entering. I mean, they're literally gonna be right above the boat dock and pretty much right above your head here as it travels over into the station. So it's gonna be really neat to see, really impressive back here in the International Gateway. Okay, time to jump back on the boat and we'll head over to Hollywood Studios and take a look at the parking lot there and the progress that they've made on their station. landscaping around the towers as well. I hope that they, uh, in all the resorts and here at the parks, that they do a lot of landscaping and try to make these towers blend in a little bit, uh, especially over at the Caribbean Beach. Um, kind of runs right through the center of the Caribbean Beach there, and I hope that they give a little color to the towers maybe, and some good landscaping to really make it blend in, make it look a little better. I'm glad to see they're doing the landscaping here. Got a cool view of the station as we we're coming into Epcot, so we get a nice view of the towers as we're leaving here. And we're also going to be able to see uh, Ratatouille that's being built behind France. you would uh, depart the station here and just head down the towers towards the parking lot and that'll take you down towards the Caribbean Beach station. All right, so here we are. We are off the boat. Just got off the boat behind me there and we're at the entrance of Hollywood Studios. You can see the uh, awesome Skyliner behind me. Uh, let's take a uh, better view here and see what it's going to look like as it's coming in. It's, it's really impressive. So you can see uh, you're going to get a really, really great view of the gondolas as they uh, approach Hollywood Studios or they're leaving Hollywood Studios to go to the Caribbean Beach. So you're basically going to leave this station, head all the way down these towers uh, through the clearing and the trees there, and there's uh, the station that we saw at the Caribbean Beach. I can't wait to see these gondolas coming in here. It's going to be so cool. You can also see the uh, 
front entrance here, so it's gonna be a really quick walk to get from the front entrance right to the gondola station. Now along with the Skyliner here at uh, Disney's Hollywood Studios, they're also making some huge changes to the parking lot itself, doing a lot of expansion and um, some changes to the entrance here. Uh, the current bus station, which is right over here, just to the, to the right of the Skyliner, um, is going to kind of expand into some more security, um, just a, a little wider entrance area. And this uh, structure that they're building to the left of the Skyliner here is all going to be new uh, kind of bus station area. Uh, so that's what I'm being told. Uh, maybe something uh, more similar to what the Animal Kingdom has, sort of a, a longer um, uh, bus area. So we'll see as it uh, progresses along here. This is all supposed to be uh, done by 2019. Uh, really looking forward to it. It's gonna be cool, uh, new front entrance, new parking lot, new Skyliner, everything at uh, Hollywood Studios. So here's the uh, other side of the Skyliner. You can see uh, this is the current bus stop area. Kind of expands all the way around here. Uh, so we'll see if this um, stays the way it is, if it's going to, if they're gonna take some of these stops away and extend some of the security, um, make this a little easier to get off the Skyliner. These may go, these stops here. And again, uh, on the other side of the building there, they're building a structure which should be more uh, bus stations. So we'll see. Now the towers themselves, uh, I do have another video that I did previously. I'll uh, put a link up in the corner and down in the description for it. Shows you a little, uh, closer to the towers um, as they expand down the parking lot there. Didn't make that walk today, just wanted to get an overall view of the station and everything. But definitely check out that link. It's really cool to see the towers up close and a little further down towards the uh, clearing in the woods there. All right guys, so that wraps it up here at Hollywood Studios and for the entire uh, Disney Skyliner construction tour. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Definitely be sure to check out PassportToTheParks.com. You can see the entire story there. Uh, all kinds of other videos and great articles and pictures and all kinds of cool stuff about Disney and all the other theme parks. And uh, definitely follow me on social media. Uh, you can find all the links there on the website as well. And if you haven't yet, please uh, subscribe here on YouTube and click that like button. It always helps to support what I'm doing here. So appreciate you guys being here. If, if you ever have any questions or anything, you can email me at rob at passporttotheparks.com or just leave a comment and I will try to get back to you with an answer. Can't wait for the Skyliner in 2019. See you later, guys.